Alright, that's all. Let me check the sound. Let me check the sound. Let me check the sound. Yeah. Infinite feedback loop. Uh, um, okay. I, let's check the event. I haven't been started yet. Bizarre adventure for reasons unknown. Some dark metal like substance has come burning out of the caverns and mines of the chasm. Help a summer researcher deal with this crisis. I don't really like research, summer researchers. Transportation test, big operation, proceeding spying. Uh, okay, too much text already. I'm gonna have to read a lot of stuff online. Oh, yeah, look at that. First things first. I managed to get Shinobu last week, so let's make my temples of this week. Okay, nothing important. Then I make temples here. Oh, that's me why since I've got a Lisa. What's that? I don't remember that. This consideration is... Oh, he's full already. No. Hang on. The criteria for certificate exams are straight. Huh? What is that? Wow, I, I didn't. I didn't get any of these things to free one. Okay, yeah, and he's full already. Okay. Forward enough. What it really comes down oh, to yeah, is God, whether you are willing to put in the time. If you study and Okay, where do I have to go for the quest? I hope it doesn't take too much time. Come on, it's not voiced. Uh, it seems that the situation has been getting worse over the last two days. The explosion team's movement will be limited as a result. Who can I get to take this commission up? Come on. It's Ho. Something happened? You can see Pam. Our timing truly is impeccable. Impeccable, you say. Sounds like we've got trouble. And see again. Or... Unknown reasons, some dark mud like substance has come burning out of the caverns and mines of the chasm lake. All of the caverns now because they were inside the caverns already. It is a very sudden affair, and the exploration team has yet to come up with any countermeasure. And so, investigations there have started to start and stop several times. As such, Kadaif has asked the Edmunter Skill to send help. Just use that stone torch light something. And Dark Mister, isn't that thing from beneath the chasm? Yeah. That's exactly the substance I speak of. I do not know why it has reached the caverns and mines. But either way, the exploration team's progress has been stymied. And I, even their day to day movements have been affected. After all, they rely heavily on the mining tunnels for the transportation of goods and materials. How long has this been going on? For some time now. Can I say that he's found a researcher from Sumeru who can help him out? But the researcher seems to need help themselves. I must admit that this has been troubling for me troubling me ever since. Uh, you know, could I probably pace pretty well. No one has stepped forward. No, I'm afraid. Uh, mostly only to the extreme danger that the Dark Moon possesses. Quite a few people actually came on account of the reward. But the moment they heard it was the chasm, they quickly declined. Come on, even... Bro, 
to make things trickier, uh, most adventurers are not very familiar with the chasm's layout. So the one who accepts this commission will have to be someone who with no fear of danger and who knows the chasm like the back of their hands. And just as I was puzzling over this matter, you two drop by. So this is how it is. Things do seem quite serious. Well, let's go have a look. I suppose we can... Yeah, let's go have a look. Then let's go now, shall we? How about that? Could I did say that you just have to look for the other researcher from Sumeru? Or to call him verbatim. If anyone's willing to help, tell them to go to the campsite of the chasm. That I will be there at pain just as usual. Okay, then off you go. Thank you, the chasm safety is our hands. Well, there's that crazy adventure girl as well that probably got herself killed already. She has no fear and she knows the chasm at the back of her hands. Probably better than me. Is this Kadai? I know um, some objects should talk to me. No, this is. I don't remember people's name. So the chasm, uh, I think I will be here. Just check. Oh, no, I moved my screen around. This is good I've been. Yeah. Ah, oh, hello there. I thought you'd left. Sure, you read the last great deal. Did you? Yeah. So he completely ignores our quest. And. Okay, yeah, that. I don't know if I read that before, but it doesn't seem important. It doesn't seem related to the quest. Is the same researcher from the other quests? I I don't remember his name. I didn't think that the environment here would be so unique. In that case, the energy system of the Persina Spike will. Uh, even the Okay, so it is him. Uh, it has been a while. Why are the two of you here at the castle? What do you think? Actually, I do recall Kedai saying that you'd help the exploration team out a lot. That said, the situation in the chasm has been worsening. It's no place for a walk in the park. Wait, you are? Ah, so I, I didn't even have an option. I just don't remember him. Uh, come on, didn't we just meet a short while ago? I mean, I do always end up asking for you for help, but that's no reason to pretend you don't recognize me. Ah, uh, forget it. In that case, allow me to introduce myself once again. I am Hosseini, a researcher at the Academy. I've been working on a device known as the Energy Amplifier. Oh, that. I hate that. And even went to Inazuma to do some reference work there. There was a question in Inazuma. I... I don't... I remember the other question in Liyue. However, I run out of operation funds to go for my research, and so I have to return to Sumeru. Okay, but I think she remains you now. You do? You're Amplifier Man. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, if he introduced himself as Amplifier Man, I probably would have known who he was. Uh, I'm quite sure that I've never introduced myself as such. He should. Uh, whatever the case, I received a request from a fellow researcher named Kadai. I owe him a favor regarding research funds from my way, from way back. Uh, so I'm here at the chasm to help him solve this problem. Well, I hope the explanation is clear enough. In which case, let me ask you a question. Why are you two here at the chasm? Well, you're also just having to have received commission from Kadai. 
Ah, so that's you. And to think that I was worried when I mentioned that he was going to get some people to help out. Since it's you, I guess um, nothing to worry about. I must admit that if I, if I were to attempt to resolve the dark mud issue here at the castle myself, I would take a lot of time and energy, but with your help, our rewards are well higher. Uh, what do you need us to do? You've heard of Persian Spike, right? A device that can release energy that disrupts ley lines. Have I heard about it? According to my hypothesis, we can place the spike at points where the dark mud is pouring out to disrupt the ley line movements and clear its way. So it's like those beacons. I, I place beacons in the castle, haven't I? Is the dark mud even related to the ley lines? Well, they did appear based on anomalies in the ley lines, so it is very likely that they are related. That's what Kedai and I have discussed in a way. So we can use the spike to disrupt or even close up against the allowed ley lines here to access external elements, which will stop the dark mud. I see. However, we were previously just using the spikes to disrupt the ley lines. This is the first time I'm using them the spikes to seal them. I do have I have done some estimations and adjustments some and adjusted some of the spike parameters. In theory nothing should go wrong, something will go wrong then. The theory is as you know ultimately theory and theories must all be tested. I was just thinking of beginning the initialization process in fact but it has some risks so I'll allow me then. Alright, I'll leave to you, I'll observe from the sites. Okay, well, so, so this isn't about... Um... That? Uh, I, I hate new rules. Uh, the dark moon using for our online eyes. Uh, okay, so it'll be stronger. Uh, I'm almost covering the dark moon for far increase. Uh, most of the attack person spike. Okay, so tar defense. Uh, constantly and the surrounding area will flow with our dark mud. Clear the mud of weakened characters and feed them prevents. Okay. That's the spike. Oh, I should probably get a better. Team. She's strong. not well prepared for fighting. Of light. Hey. To hide. Oh, hang on, I have to. Uh, I. I should probably use that. Oh, okay. That works. Why is she stuck? Okay, there's time left, but if it's like that, it doesn't seem that bad. My apologies. Yeah. I'll settle this. Stand with me. Incoming. Huh? <laughs> Coming down to art. So that's it. Take flight. Another two. Speed of light. Good. Cut to the chase. Dissipate. My apologies. More. Now it's... Team should be getting tough. 
Enough. <laughs> okay, I better change my party. I I thought I would start a challenge there in like I don't know, there isn't a domain or anything. I don't know what I expected. I thought I would choose my party or something before starting. Then you say that theoretically there wouldn't be any problems. They spike one up because in the dark mud to gush out instead. Uh, is that how it is? Uh, to think I did not factor the ground into my calculations. Uh, what error? Factor the ground into your calculations. That's right, our previous experiments all took place on softer soil. Uh, but with the chasm, the medium through which the spikes and travel is now soil but rock, which has very different properties. This caused a major discrepancy between earlier calculations and the actual results. Indeed, theory is not a mere matter of imagination. Instead, it must be grounded and proven in reality. <coughs> this proving process seems kind of dangerous though. Also, why did so much mud came out all at once? Indeed, this place is quite far from the mining complex, so the mud really shouldn't be flowing all the way here. The situation must be more urgent than we imagined. Also, the percent spike has a defense effect on environments affected by the dark mud. This shows that the mud is proliferating. Proliferation is, as guessed, an issue that stems from the ley lines. This proves the need for experimentation and proof. Is it not? Uh, of course, if I'll, I had done the experiment myself, I would have wound up being attacked by the monsters. Not that I worry about being injured, that would be a small loss compared to any damage that might be done to the person spike. Uh, how would I answer to our great tutor fairness, or my fellow researchers in the Charivar? Uh, you should pay more attention to your own safety, not less. True, the data we've collected can be used to adjust the results of our calculations. Now, the solutions to these inferring parameters, I believe there are four such methods. So, there should be only one that will prove most effective. Thank you so much for helping me with it. This does run. If not, I will make some adjustments to the person's back. Uh, later, it can be moved into the main complex, where operations can be can then begin. You are moving it into the main complex. Well, no. I had agreed with Kadai to hire some of the local miners here to move it. But when they heard that my objective was to resolve the issue of the dark mode. Mud, they refused any payment. I've spoken to Kadai with money from the Ministry of Civil Affairs, however, the moral is to go to them as compensation. Of course, I'll need you to help start the machine up once it reaches its destination. Okay. Oh, so it doesn't seem. Wait till next day. Okay, I may have some. I fight here, but it doesn't seem to be as bad as his previous events. I don't like setting things up before 
Air Revenge. Okay, so they moved. Um, oh, there are people over here. Okay, no. um, I better change my party before the next fight. Uh, but my artifacts are all over the place. You're here. Yep, yeah, I heard you have. I was just checking the pristine spike. I must say that the Lewis miners are made of stern stuff. Just two of them were enough to transport the spike here. But since the spike was some, has some verified moving parts, I need to check if it has been affected while in transit. In theory, so everything should be fine. Uh, that's what you said last time, too. And you nearly got Paimon in the deep tower. Come on, she's never in, really in the fight. Well, I did say that there's a difference between theory and reality. However, I made sure to check everything before it came. Everything has been prepared, and once the suggestion initialized in operation, the spike will not need any initial element energy inputs to maintain its charging state. Wait, does it need initial energy? Just keep charging. Yes, before I had to adapt to Inazuma's environment, since so, I modified it such that it could only charge and operate through the use of electrodes. I, I really don't remember that <laughs> that event. However, that is not the original operation team mode of the Persian Spike. Originally, it was intended to function as in this sort of environment. In fact, this dark mud is its power source that will provide power to the spike. That's right, and that's why the spike is perfectly suitable suited to solve this issue. If you consider it, this dark mud issue we are having in the chasm as both symptom and source, both of which must be resolved. Of course, the source is... Ah, the lines? Exactly. As such, we must nip the problem in the bud by sealing the openings in the ley lines, through which the dark mud is spilling through. No, can we just leave it open, it, the machine on? Consuming any dark mud? Of course, the ceiling of the lines will not completely solve the problem on Dark Mud that has already came out. Uh, however, the person Spike has the ability to absorb the energy within the Dark Mud and decrease its power as a contaminant. This is what we call fixing the symptoms. This way, the Dark Mud that has already reached the surface will serve as a power source for the Pachinia, and the Spike will continue its operation. It will close the lines from which the mud is spewing forth. As for those monsters who have been affected by mud due to long-term exposure, they will lose the enhancements they got get from it in the weekend. Oh, the three birds we lost them. You know what? The, this Persis Paxi is better than Paimon thought. It's it's called Persis Paxi. Uh, Persis brilliance. Truly is something that one may almost believe that the spike truly is such that one may almost believe that the spike was specifically made to solve problems such as this. Uh, if that guess if that guess of mine is true, then this whole process of solving the dark mud problem could be ser could serve as valuable experiment for that in the future. Who knows, this research may even allow me to discover some hitherto unknown principles behind how Persina could affect the ley lines using certain devices. This subject has great value, honestly. If I could win the Academy's Kavikavus prize for this, that would be wonderful. Kavikavus prize. This is a prize that the Academy gives, gives out especially to young researchers. Uh, every year, the sages 
we'll go over the research report, send in, and cast votes to select a winner. The criteria for winning are that the subject must be groundbreaking, creative, and that the person saying the report must have great potential and be under 40 of age. Oh, so it's like the opposite of the Oscar because uh, all those who have won the Kaiv Kappa's prize while under the age of 40 would go to go on to win great renown in the academia. Uh, so is this hair just white? She's not old. That sounds awesome. Well, let's start this spike up right now. Let's hope it solves our problems. That said, please take note, Ignus. Now, while the precinct spike is a very impressive piece of equipment, it is also quite intricate and fragile. If it is hit while operating, or if it is submerged by dark mud, which can cause falling, the spike will turn it off automatically to prevent any further damage. As such, please beware of the mud and monsters while you operate the device. Okay, let me check my party. Uh, I think... Uh, uh, okay, those two. Or those two. And she... And... Yay, that's fine. Stay close and you will live. It's not such a great deal, but I think she's giving more damage than than my dear look. Okay, automatic charge, you lost go change super fire environment, you can end, challenge considered a success once charging completes. Since spike will enter for the same okay. Additionally, using Bonai while well, Spike Super Rain normally will cause using concentration when Spike additional energy in speeding up the charging process. Also, okay, I can charge it there. Just there. Okay.
The effects are better than I thought. We recorded all the phenomena we've seen and the data we've collected. And most importantly, the dark matter was completely cleared, was it? Uh, it's just that... Uh, why do you look so unhappy? Is it a bad thing that the mind complex is all clean? Let me think. Well, when Kadaiv and I analyzed the situation previously, we believe that the opening in the ley lines through which the dark matter came should be here. I don't think that such an opening would have been this easily to, this easy to clear out. So the true entry point might be elsewhere. And in this case, the affected areas also include the front line mines. Exactly. This means that the point through which the dark mode is flowing in is in the tunnels. Such areas will be far more narrow, allowing for greater buildup of the mud, and making it easier for the monsters to swarm in, thus worsening our problem. Still, I have full faith in the Persidence Spike. It is, after all, Persidence's greatest creation. Is this person still alive? Just let me do a bit of maintenance work on it first. I'll call the miners who have agreed to move the spike into the tunnels over. Wait another day. Okay, that's a matter of another thing. Make sure that's okay. Wait, here's Shumana. Okay, now. There. Maybe I could walk there. Mm. Oh, maybe I should heal the shoe. Uh, 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 I have plenty of that. Just in time, we were just discussing how to move the person back in. I must say, however, that the situation is far more serious than we anticipated. This is bad, there's too much dark mud here. Is there? Where? Uh, and it's crawling with monsters attracted by the mud. We can't move the spike in, we can't find a path forward at all. We're still a long way off from the mining tunnels. Come on, we got to try again. If it still doesn't work out, let's go back out there and grab a few more buddies to help out. I mean, I'm not to the mines. Am I not to the mining superstar? I can carve through the mountain with but a few swings on my pickaxe. These monsters are no match for me. Let's get moving. Uh, keep on faking. You'll see how much redder your face can get from all that coffin. No sense. I. We can proceed any further. In long term exposure to this mud will have severe consequences. The large number of monsters makes things even more dangerous. But we all saw it, didn't we? We put the machine in the mining complex and it was cleaned up just like that. If we could just get rid of all this mud sooner. This isn't time to be pricing speed solution, solutions. Uh, where it be in experiments or in problem solving, proceeding without preparation and proper examination is too rash. One mistake could cost lives. Your own life is of utmost importance. This is one of the basic axioms of the academia's lab manual. As a researcher, from the academia, I cannot simply stand by and allow such full hardness. But if you stop, who's going to do something about all this mud? Uh, if it continues to attract these monsters, 
we wouldn't matter it wouldn't matter if we bought another 20 people we wouldn't make any headway let me think if this really is unworkable we could activate this pipe once more over here first here that's right just give the dark mode emissions a once over and though they are faster than how they were the day before in the mining complex this is not yet the heart of the problem so the purification rate should be quicker than the rate at which the dark money can flow out those monsters in the chasm were attracted by the dark money i suspect that they must be affected by its energies so setting the spike up here and decreasing the mud's influence in the vicinity should also be also help be of help to you if we clear the mud out, the monsters should stop congregating. Once that's happened, we can try moving this back further in. Let's do it. You two head back to camp and rest. Uh, we'll have need of you later. Oh, I don't need rest yet. We just... <coughs> it's not time for my superstar to lay his picks down just yet. If it's clearing monsters, I can help out too. Quit the tough guy act already. I've seen this pattern of yours before. This is Ignis. We are talking about where he gets to fixing things. There's little people like you. there's little people like you and me have to fix. Now uh, we leave the dark mud in this area to you. Got it. Ah uh, yes, this entire area is covered in mud. The situation is far worse than I thought. There is also a lot of monsters nearby. Stay on your toes. I take care of myself. No, no. I mean, you stay on your toes regarding the person's spine. I have full confidence in your abilities, but less on the all some yet fragile spike. Uh, please make sure that the spike makes makes it feel unscathed. Do we really need all that talk to say activate it again, fight monsters again, and? Clear mud again. Circling. Theory is you defeat opponents, wasting time limit, the percentage spike operation, really shockwave, setting your mods and do damage. Show opponents and hit spell buffs. Those, okay. Really possible to bring over the mud, once he hit percentage spike, look at false prevent seals. Okay. Same thing. There is no escape. Think you can get away? Yahoo! Whirling snow! Now you shall perish! Order guide you! Kami Sato Art! Sumenter! Time for takeoff! Shine down! Stabilize! My apologies. Okay, everything dead. Oh. Take flight. Oh. That's Illusion off. shattered. Solidified. Think you can get away? Here we go! Embrace the ice! Gather! There is no escape! Damn! I need more stuff. This is off. Take 
I will have order. Whirling snow. Yes. Damn, Absurd. damn, 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 damn. Come on. Just over oh, it. Shine down. Take flight. Solidify. Torn to oblivion. Illusion shattered. Think you can get away? Brace yourself. Whirling snow. Sakura swirl. There is no escape! Okay, each one slightly different from the previous, but nothing so bad so far. But, as I should have expected from you, I suppose. Now the dark blood and monsters are gone, with minimal damage to the person spike. I am most glad that you were the one that I've got to help us out. If it were anyone else, I doubt they would have solved this issue quite so hand handily. But well, I am pretty good at what I do. I'm quite modest too. Indeed, that is plain to see. Uh, the two miners, Tu and Hao, have headed back to rest. Looks like it will be difficult to move this pipe right away. But clearing the mud out as we go isn't a good idea either. The closer we get to the area veining the mud, the more intense the rate at which it will just keep flowing out. We have to solve this problem directly at its source. It looks like we need another solution. Wait till the next day. Yeah. And the recover health as well. Don't use. Oh, it's quite close. No, it's that. Very right. I think I must be feeling the effect myself. Must have stayed here too long while thinking about how to move the person spike towards the light line rupture. It is not a big deal though. I've had some rest and I'm much better already. At the same time, I've also thought of a solution. It's just that, well, I must say that finding a way to move the person spike around is actually not as hard as finding excuse to extend report submission states. Since the mud covers the big covers the ground, we can make it float just a little by using hot air balloons and just part the spike that out the way, but don't we have to cross my foot as well? Oh that sounds like a pretty good idea. Of course, this will help solve our dark mode problem to some extent, but in the areas where it has blocked the tunnel, we might still have trouble getting the hot air balloon through. And this is without speaking of the monsters that the mud will attract. I'm afraid that we'll have to leave such things to you. Don't worry, between my mains, all these monsters won't even know what he done. Guess you're the start of the show, Paimon. I'll lay my sword for a while, eh? Well, Paimon's mostly just cheering you on from the side, you know? Huh. Uh, uh, to think that laughing just a little will make me cost this much. Uh, whatever the case, do I how? 
are packing the personal spike and getting the balloon ready. I packed, I had packed the personal spike myself, but the mere efforts uh, of staying up for a while was enough to send me into coughing fists. How embarrassing. Looks like I'll have to train my body as well as my academic mind in the future. Go and look for them. Hey, you're just in time. Why am I so far from them? No, why is the camera center anything like that? We're done wrapping this up. Guess that dude from Samara is explaining how we're going to use this other balloon. Yeah, so we don't have to tell me again. Come on, Hussein, it's not some dude from Samara. He's, he's here to help us with the dark mud. Couldn't you be a little... Could you have a little more respect? Hey, this is just a friendly farm of a dress. Yeah, what's wrong? Right, well, whatever. Uh, the balloon can be used, and the purification device has also been prepared. Uh, if you need to, if you need help, if you need the help of the mining superstar, actually, never mind. I, I can't really help right now. At least you got some self awareness. Go get some rest. Whatever the case, if you want to start moving the device, just turn the hot air balloon right up. Okay. Okay, Scar Balloon. I, I think I've done some of those before. Gather. Oh, okay, we go to the other side. This is order. Here we go. My apologies. It's really helpful. <laughs> oh, I have to deal with those as well.
Oops, I expect to move it to reception. There is never time to read that. Uh, Specs thing being placed. Uh, current by estimations. This should be the opening through which the lines are overflowing. Yeah, I don't think I got all the days already. If we can get the spike up and running here, we can affect the ley lines such that the opening can be closed. I believe that this will solve our problems for good. Shall we start now then? No, we cannot. I must perform another round of checks. We cannot afford to have another problem like the one we faced during the test run. Once the spike is ready, we will be rid of this terrible mud and the monsters that come with it. Get another day. Do I have stock now? back. How are the investigations going? The spikes adjustment has been completed. I'm just a little worried, but we can only leave it there in the tunnels. Uh, I've asked Kadai to make some medicine for two and how as well. It's up, up to you now. Initialize the spike and seal the openings through which the dark mud is gushing out. Honestly, when Kadai first came to me for help, I thought to myself that I just packed the spike up and have to summarily if things didn't work out. In any case, we had done enough experiments on the preceding spike already, more than enough to have data that could support a full report. But who and tell, if I just left them here, they will have to deal with this dangerous dark mud for the rest of their lives. I decided that if my research could not help them and was only good for publishing reports, then you will not be worth very much at all. That's why I decided to find some way to stop the ley lines from spewing this mud. And I must admit that coming into contact with this dark mud was something of a wake-up call for me as well. I believe in your strength, but the areas where the mud flows freely are still very dangerous, so be careful. Uh, I got it. Uh, I was talking about you. This spike can indeed decrease the effect the mud has on the monsters if they play at the line ruptures. But the monsters that have been attracted there too are just too numerous. No, please. You have to take care of yourself. I think I got John Lake on my side. Mm. Fortunately enough, uh, if you jump on it, it's okay. Stabilize! Time for takeoff! Yahoo! Take flight! Illusion shattered! Stabilize! You can get away. Solidify. It kind of feels like Come cheating using danger like that. My but it seems pretty doable. I mean, I passed the first step with our underdeveloped team. Shine down. This is order. Take flight. Inazuma shines eternal. My apologies. 
stabilize. Time for takeoff. Take flight. Illusion shattered. Gather. I will have order. Embrace the ice. My opponent, there is no escape. Now you shall perish. Illusion shattered. Stabilize. <laughs> Let's play. Here we go. Think you can get away? <laughs> Let's play. Oh, I lost. Oh no, I just have to. I just saw that the time ended and I thought I lost. Maybe this I have to survive the time I lose the attention. How did you go? Did you manage to operate this pack successfully? Yes, it went well. Good, good. But since I cannot seal the opening in one go, as long as it is successful once, continued operation should not be an issue. This means that it's really just a matter of time before the opening closes completely. Our problem is therefore solved. I must record this. For all I know, I may yet become a figure of some influence in academia once the full research report on the person spike is submitted. Might, I might even write it into my future memoirs. I can say now, my experiments with the preternaturally skilled ignorance and chasm. I'll be waiting eagerly for that day to come. Yeah, not really. I'm not gonna read that. Well, I fear I'm not hardly as good at writing stories as I am at reports. I can only hope that you forgive my any flaws in my work. <laughs> okay, wait till the next day. Oh no, it's over. Okay, collect. 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 Hang on, what was the change? Oh, the, okay. There was dark mud. More dark mud. Shouldn't be decreasing, actually. And more dark mud. That was it? Um, okay, in this one I had to get... Uh, how much did I get? I didn't even change the deals. Uh, can I check my high score? I can't check my high score. Okay, I don't know how much I got. So that was it. Okay. I thought it would take longer. No, that was nice. That was a lot of text, but... Yeah, kind of nice. I think I had to wait one day for each one to open, so I... I don't know. Yeah, I think that's it for today. I might do Shinobu's Hangout quest one of those days. There's really no time limit for each, but I... maybe next week, I don't know. Yeah. I think that's good for now. Oh, hang on, let me check here. Maybe I can see how... Many points I got. Oh no, it just types. Yeah, no, I can't. Uh, I can't so. Yeah, 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 I can't so. No, that's fine. I can check. So, in the stream. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm gonna stop this one here. It was just for the event. Yeah, that's what I'm doing on Genshin. Just going for the event. And saving my wishes to do live. 
yeah i'm gonna stop the stream here now and tomorrow i should complete the final quests of breath of the wild